I witnessed, recorded, and produced these videotapes of the Washington, D.C. hearing. Their authenticity is above question. This is produced as part of the ongoing work on the website the way, the truth, and the life dot net. This is a hearing about the government licensing the electrocution of people to cause grand mall seizures. Think of the millions of dollars taxpayers' money spent to pay psychiatrists and their supporters and for the worldwide travel in putting this conference together, while the victims and opponents had to pay their own way. Some of the indications that you cover in some of the efficacy studies, uh, certainly I congratulate you for limiting them to controlled data and, and noting when there's no control data. A couple of things that were left out that I would like to see included, just so that those of us that, uh, that do use the treatment sometimes, these indications are some of the organic depression, such as that associated with Parkinson's disease, where the Parkinson's disease itself gets better with ECT in, in many of the cases, not all. And the other is in the case of uh, uh, chronic pain syndromes associated uh, with depression. Even though these depressions may not be considered endogenous, I think there's anecdotal data, which, of course, in this group I would not propose as being controlled data. I'd like to see that at least mentioned so that there would, it wouldn't be taken as a total exclusion to use ECT in refractory cases of this type. Does anyone want to respond to that? Are there any controlled clinical trials that you could uh, provide us references for? As far as I know, there are no controlled clinical trials. There are only, a, at most, a two to three patient series where there was, again, over these patients obviously were reported because they had a positive response. I would say that that's an area that needs further research. What I'm saying is I would hope that the use of ECT in those two situations I mentioned would not be prescriptive. But no, they're just anecdotal reports that I know of. Alan? I think that the logic that we employed was that the rec indications or recommendations have to be coming from controlled trials. The issue about case reports, random bill reports, we're not saying that they're inaccurate, but to offer general efficacy to the treatment for those is beyond the usual and customary and reasonable scientific inference. The fact is that we did recommend that controlled trials be done in other groups to clarify it for which benefit can be obtained, but we cannot recommend treatment at, that, at, the, at this time. One electroshock treatment can equal the energy of three pistol shots to the head. Uh, I, Dr. Uh, Rose uh, accepted two pieces of literature for reference. I would hope you might make uh, copies available for the panel. Uh, we're talking about having at least accurate information on the device and what we're using. And the one copy is the Thymacron, the brochure on a single sheet panel on the time on the false ECT device, and in there it shows the physical characteristics. The other, and pardon me for the emotional content of it, I also included a current Winchester ammunition uh, catalog because it shows the energy with which the bullets have. Now that's emotional, and I don't, I don't really uh, want to bring that up. Uh, but running this machine, at its maximum, uh, brings 201 joules of energy. That is 148 foot pounds. If you're interested in that, you understanding like the truth in lending and what they're talking about. One joule is 0.07376 foot pounds. But what this means is this device, when operated at its maximum capacity, will lift a one pound weight 148.7 feet. The energy contained in that is equivalent to three 25 caliber pistol slugs. Now that almost instantaneous error in the brain, this takes a half a second. Now that is just pure effect of data. Uh, to give that lifting of one pound energy equivalence in informed consent, how could you not do that? 
and he's going to be able to perceive the, the total energy and the total time of the physical parameters that characterize the device. How could you not include that information? And if the doctor prescribes a drug, he has to record the prescription. Why isn't the total time and the total energy recorded? This has been an experimental head of this device for years now. Why hasn't this information been gathered that we could be talking with concrete objective facts rather than subjective opinions of psychiatrists and patients? One electroshock treatment can equal the energy of three pistol shots to the head. Alright, out with your gun. Huh? Out with your gun. Alright. Okay, this won't hurt. It'll be over in just a moment. Uh huh. What's that? Conductant. A little dab will do you. Alright, Mr. Jackson. Open your mouth. What's that? This will keep you from biting your tongue. The oil? Now just bite down on it. That's right. Just bite down. Huh? Now bite down oh, on good. it. Are you ready? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 